tuning in to Real Real Estate with Willie Bermudez, Florida's official source for homebuyers, sellers, investors, commercial builders, and lenders. Este es el canal oficial para todas las cosas bienes raíces con Willie. Featuring the best real estate professionals and properties for sale. All real estate, all the time. This is Real Real Estate at realfloridare.com. This is Real Real Estate. Willie Bermuda is with you, and I'm highlighting Jackie Garcia, one of the better, the best known realtors that I'm aware of. Not only that, she's a coach, and we're going to get into all of those details. She's with Coldwell Banker Hometown Real Estate. Jackie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Jackie, tell me, everywhere I go, someone has something positive to say about you and what you do. So tell me how you got into this and how long you've been doing it. That's funny. I do. I, I, I do have a lot of fans, but I don't like to glorify myself. I like to glorify the agents that I've made today. Um, how did I do it? Well, you know, I started off in the health club business in sales um, when I decided that I wasn't going to continue in college. That was not going to be for me. And the health club business was very good back in the 70s and early 80s. Um, so from there, learning sales, I, a friend of mine went into real estate and she said, come over here. And she happened to be a staff manager of mine at the health club that I was in. And so I started real estate and I loved it. And the, uh, 25 years later, wow, I, cool. you know, a branch, uh, I have a branch, a Coldwell Banker branch with a partner of mine, uh, my business partner, Nancy Yeoman. And I um, have a Coldwell Banker branch in Lake Worth, in Lake Worth Beach, Florida, you nice. know, Palm Beach cool. area. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because it's Lake Worth it. It's right? Lake Worth. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Lake Worth it. And um, my parents were in real estate, too. So I, I guess it's something that I've always been involved in. And uh, I grew up really loving the business and having a passion for it. But more important than that, I found a niche. I found a niche on on creating agents and developing agents. And then when we were given the opportunity to have this Coldwell Banker branch and everything went virtual with COVID, it was perfect because all my fans from Dade County and Broward County can join me in Palm Beach virtually or even physically if they like. And I do travel, so I'm able to help them. Um, but you know, the tools that we provide for the agents and the support is what a real estate agent needs, right? Yeah, absolutely. They need support. Absolutely. Yeah, and training. So tell me, is that what you're most fond of as far as your real estate career? Because I know you've done some huge, great deals. But is it most rewarding what you do with and for the agents? Well, 100%. You know, now as a, as a you know, branch, having a branch and everything, uh, I, I now make what I'm supposed to make because I, as a district manager for Coldwell Banker for the actual corporate side, um, it was wonderful, but you were only going to receive a certain level. You know, there was right. a salary involved and that's it. Now having my own branch, my agents um, work as a team and they sell real estate. And when they have difficulty, me and Nancy, we get in there and we really roll up our sleeves and, you know, and, and kill the pain or fix the problem. Right. Um, and we turn off a lot of fires, but at the end of the day, that's the business. And that's right. what keeps us going. I mean, we're all yeah. on fire all the time. Yeah, if, yeah. if we're not on fire, then, you know, something's wrong. Right. Something's yeah. wrong. Especially yeah. in this market, right? Oh. There's a lot of opportunity right now. This market is amazing. Yeah. If yeah. you if you don't have a real estate license, you need to get one. Because I always say, if you have a real estate license, you win the lotto. I mean, our our average sale price is uh, between three fifty and four fifty, depending on the city um, yeah. that you're in, and that's a single family home with three bedrooms. But there's a lot of money in Florida, and a lot of people don't realize that. I have agents that have sold real estate of 22 million, 52 million, 4 million. This is happening now. This is not a fairy tale. This is a fact and they're happening. And the people are coming from different areas, Texas, Turkey, Korea. I'm like, wow. What's going on? What is going yeah. on? No, what's going on is that Florida is just amazing. It's the best place to live. Yep. We don't have that city tax. We don't have the, you know, we have hurricanes, but we're notified. 
right? Yeah. We know it's coming. And then yep. we have a hurricane party, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> but yeah, Florida is a great place yeah. to live. So people are noticing that. And because of this virtual stuff um, and this COVID situation, uh, a lot of people are working virtually, so they're moving to Florida. Yeah. And it makes perfect sense. No more schlepping your kids to through the cold weather. You know, why right. are you doing that? I, I just didn't get that. Why right, are right. people in the north? They could be here. They could be here with us. Sun tanning. Tell me about the <laughs> sun tanning. <laughs> Tell me about these agents. These agents that are doing so well, particularly the three that you mentioned. Are these seasoned agents or are these like you know, like newbies? I, I tell you, uh, only one of them is seasoned of 20 some odd years. The other two have under five years of experience. And, wow. you know, the reality is that what you need is support and coaching, taught time management. Um, given, I give a motivational chat every morning to my agents just to let them know, hey, it's time to punch in. Right. You've got to punch in for the business and you've got to believe that it's going to happen. I mean, we give you the tools. We give you leads. In right. some cases, if you're trained enough, you will receive leads that come to you in the most amazing way. And then it's like, oh, my God, I got one for two million. And I'm like, OK, go get it. It's just a number with another zero. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> theoretically, nervous. right? They get theoretically. Nervous. They get nervous. You know, the yeah, higher yeah. the number, yeah. the more uh, lack of confidence there is. But, yeah, I try to train and develop them to not only have the desire and the dream come true for them, but actually coach them on time management and to learn the tools. And to, you, you're with the best brokerage. You're with Coldwell Banker. The name sells. Right. Yep. What is in the yep. name? Yep. Everything. Reputation, longevity, yeah. you, you know, a bunch of good stuff. Yeah. 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 So, so they start with me and usually they don't leave me. I have really good retention. And, you know, we're, we've already affiliated many agents considering that we just opened our branch in April. But I come from, you know, the district where I managed, you know, other Coldwell Banker corporate real estate offices and right. trained mm. and developed those. So some of them follow, I, you know, I, I, I like new blood, you know, coming from yeah. all kinds of places because I, I like new. I can train and develop new really well. And then those that have been around for a long time, I could take their business to the next level. 100%. I know that for sure. If they come. Got right? it. If yeah. it just paid a little attention, right? Yeah, just come. I'll write the car for a year. You know, yeah. <laughs> and just decide to be all in, right? All in. Because that's what it takes, you know? It does. Because you can help, you know, you can offer somebody help, right? And guidance and support. But they got to be willing to do the, you know, their part. You know? Listen, some people think, oh, I'm going to become a real estate agent and, you know, and I'm going to be rich, right? Because they think everybody in real estate is rich. And that's so far from the truth. Those people that have money in real estate are working hard still today. They don't give up on one deal. They do one deal and retire these other people. Right. I did one deal, I made 24000 and then they, you don't see them do another deal till maybe seven months from now when they spent all their money. Wow. That's not the way you That's do not the way to do it now. No. Of course not. No. But 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 it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And if, you know, there's desire, there's hope. <laughs> no, you know what? And I and I think in any business there should be ambition. You know, like you have to be ambitious. I mean you have to want things and a better life, you know? And more than one deal every seven months. You know? No, you I mean, gotta take action. You yeah. gotta take action. I mean, being consistent and persistent with your agents. And giving them the support and teaching them and being excited for them and motivating them every day is what an agent needs. And even though I may have, you know, right now, you know, we have under 50 agents, but I've had 279 agents and still gave the same amount of service because I, I give them on one on ones, one on one, 15 minute chat with me, one on one, just Put yourself on calendar, get yourself an appointment, tell me what the problem is and let's go. And I schedule people throughout mm. the whole day. And sometimes I work as, as late as I have to, right. you know, because I love this business. Yep. And you could tell, right? I can tell. You want to buy a house? Yeah, we got a lot of passion. <laughs> but you need that, though. If you don't have that, you can't, you know, like you can't be successful in anything. Exactly. So definitely like, passionate, you, you, you know. This, right? I, this I love passion? this. You know, media is my thing. You know, connecting with people, um, storytelling, you know, hearing the stories, having them retold through this, you know, venue here. Yeah, you know, um, this is something that is highly enjoyable for me. 
Absolutely. You know, like some people like to go bike riding and they have other things. I do this. You know, I do bike this, riding. This is, you, you, you do? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. I do my little bike riding. You know, I'm not the bike cycler, but you know, I'm, I'm a biker. But, but you give it a shot. Yeah, I do it as much as I yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah. So Jackie, what would you say is the most known problem with agents as far as when you say that you help them do problem solving? What what are some of those challenges you think? The challenge is really uh, economically. They must be um, supported economically because you're not going to see any money for at least three to six months. So that when a, when a customer knows that you don't have money, they can see it, they can smell it. And it's hard, you know? Right. So, so you need to be uh, financially supported or have some stain of, some, some, something of substance saved right. in order for you to really start. Then, the, really, the support system is really important. Your wife, your husband must believe in you. You know, I know wives and husbands that say things like, get out of that business, you're not cut out for that. That's demotivating. And then of they course, start to yeah. have issues and, and other things come into play. But I see them. I see their passion. I see the love that they have for the business. And it, it really makes me uh, uncomfortable or sad when I see that because I can't. You can only do so much when some family system doesn't support you. It's hard for you. Of to course. Succeed. Of course. Yeah. Yes. And any in any type of endeavor, you yeah. know, you, you need that support, especially from. Well, I don't know so much about parents, you know, depends on your age, but definitely significant other. Absolutely. Like you need that person there in yeah. your corner, yeah. you know, that tells you, hey, go ahead and make those phone calls, yeah. you know, go out, your, you know, to the showing. Right. You know, do it, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and agents don't learn. They're given a class for about a week in any any of the companies. OK, there's millions of them. They say, come, I'm going to train you. They sit, they send them off to a class for a week. And after that week, they can't put those lessons into play because they don't have anything to work with mm, you know right the first person that works with you is probably a family member and those are the ones that don't believe in you and treat you you know badly because they right. don't think you know what you're doing right and that's the worst person to work with you know yeah. the best person to work with is a stranger that will believe in you and will trust you to sell them a house i mean hell how much experience do you have enough experience to sell you a house didn't i get a license right you right, have a license right. go sell that house right. open the door if anything at all yeah you know they can know they see the kitchen they see the rooms yeah you i mean at, right <laughs> at the very least show up right and open exactly. the doors like you said yeah you know? Now, mm -hmm. you know and then they don't understand countermeasures or how i like to call them or objections like the other agents call them you know i say you know the person told me oh she's working with another realtor and i go fantastic now you're working with two realtors how about that why don't you say two is better than one and it sure you know, is yeah at one point we had two presidents right so i got two realtors <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not <laughs> jackie jackie garcia this is like a super coach in the world of real estate right what we're talking about super coach <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. We do have to take a break. We will be right back on Real Real Estate, RE.com. Be right back. You are tuning into Real Real Estate with Willie Bermudez, Florida's official source for homebuyers, sellers, investors, commercial builders, and lenders. Este es el canal oficial para todas las cosas bienes raíces con Willie. Featuring the best real estate professionals and properties for sale. All real estate, all the time. This is Real Real Estate at realfloridare.com. Willie Bermude is back with you, RealFloridaRE.com. Jackie Garcia, master coach and realtor. Coldwell Banker, hometown real estate. Number one. Number one. Jackie, we're having a lot of fun here. Yeah, we are. You, I mean, we're talking about, you know, things that people don't talk about. And I mean that in a good way because she deals with a lot of agents. She helps a lot of agents. And that's not uh, so, so typical. Most people just sort of tell you, hey, get out there, just do it, right? But they fail to realize the support is needed and that's exactly what you do. But aside from helping so many realtors, you are a realtor yourself. So you're- I'm an actual broker. You're an actual broker. You're actually hands-on and you do transactions as well. I do. So Jackie, tell me, what has been your most memorable deal to date? 
well, all of them are memorable, really. <laughs> At the end of the day, when you think about them, all of them have a good story, a different story, a hard story, a sad story. But I guess when you're talking about memorable, and um, I have a son that's 25 years old now, but when, when I was uh, younger, I know I look 24, but... I'm up there. You do. You do look 24. <laughs> anyway, um, he was about um, five or six years old, and I was I, I had I had put out a marketing campaign for New York because Miami was developing a lot. You know, uh, George Perez was developing, and uh, many developers were out there, and we were assembling land. I started this niche of assembling land for developers, and um, what happened was. Um, a developer, I'm in my car and I'm driving and it's on speaker and he knows not to say anything, right? But he's listening and he goes, yeah, you know, the the gentleman is talking to me. Um, I'm, I want to know more about how much the land is and what can I assemble and yada, yada. And anyway, so he tells me his name and I can't mention his name, but what, we'll call him Don Juan. Come on, Jackie. No, no, we'll call him Don Juan. <laughs> so so he, when he mentions his name, Don Juan, my son goes, that is the most richest developer in Vegas. And I'm like, really? And then he goes, he goes, who's that talking? And I said, my son. And he goes, hmm, teach your son well. Uh. <laughs> Needless to say, I sold him a land for development on Collins. Um, very pricey. And uh, he built a nice high rise there. So it was it, the reason why it was memorable was because my son, being such a young age, knew that developer. He helped you know who he was. He's been he's been doing real estate since he was able to walk and talk, you know. So wow. <laughs> yes. Literally. He, he, he knew the developer in, in Vegas just because I, when I mentioned the name, there was a TV series on this, and he remembered, and that's why it, it was timing, right? Is his last name Wynn? No. <laughs> All right, it's not Wynn. Okay, okay. No. no, but very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So does that mean that, that your son is a realtor today? Actually, my son is in law school, but he does have oh, a real estate license. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know... My life is real estate. Um, I, 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 you know, without talking personal, I, I'm really married to my job. Okay. And that is what I do because even my customers, my customers find me. They say, I had you on my phone for a couple of years. You must remember this realtor. And then they call me. I have dealt with you three or four years ago. <laughs> and I, I knew that I needed to call you. And they're like my biggest fans. They send me people and more people. But it's because this is a business of of personality. Right. You know, you got to understand people. You got to understand their pain, but you got to be transparent and real and really care. Right. You know, this is not about throwing in the bag, you know, the house, I'll throw it in the bag and take it home with me like a supermarket. Right. right. We're buying a home, you know, and it's got to be the right home. Right. So, you know, we can't, we can't really tell that person, you know, can you see yourself in here? Um, without them seeing themselves in there, you know? Yeah, you can see yourself in here. You can see yourself. No, yeah. you can't. I can't, you know? Right. It's like you got to listen. You got to listen. You know? You got to listen. Yeah. And, and, and when you listen, understand, really understand, and, you know, always be closing. A, B, C. Right, yeah. Always be closing. Understand, yeah. but be closing. Right, right, right. And know your business. Uh, don't say things you don't know. Say, you know, you know what? That's a good question. Let me ask my broker or let me... Ask someone. I mean, you can always ask Google. They can do that. Yeah. But <laughs> Google does help. Google does help. <laughs> but in any case, yeah. Oh, Google doesn't, uh, you know, know the area. Right. Really, of course. Yeah, yeah. We do. Right. Right. Um, and, and being there to help a customer, you know, realtors nowadays don't pick up their phones. They don't want to go their extra mile. Why do they do that? I don't know why the arrogance. I haven't put my finger on it yet. But those kind of agents... You're not being real estate if they're not going to take care of the business. You know what they say in Spanish? Right. Like, la tienda. But you know what it is? It's bad habits, though. You know what I mean? It's just people that have bad habits. And, you know, like you can bring them to a thriving business and then show them the potential. But if they have bad habits from before or they're lazy, right? All these number of things. There's no way that they can really do well. Yeah. And if they do well, guess what they're doing? They may be selling, selling or buying properties for family members. Yeah. Which is not the same. It isn't. Because you know, that'll soon exhaust. Right. right. After a while, yeah. they're all depleted, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, discipline. 
Yeah. I, I have that word in my mind every day for the agents, discipline. So if I'm disciplined enough to wake up and, you know, give you a motivational chat every morning and, and, and promote you as a realtor, even know when your birthday is, you should be on your work, on your people, on your, I have a CRM that they're given. They should be touching that every day, yeah, yeah. being in their face, because if you're not in the customer's face at least three times a week, there's going to be another agent. Yeah. There's going to be another agent. So, you know, you better be you. That's, that's all I say, right? Because if they're there, you made the first contact, you build the relationship. Why are you giving up on them? Because they're not ready now. Right. So what? But they'll be ready in 12 months. They'll be ready, you know? may, maybe longer. Yeah. Maybe longer. Right. I'll tell you this. The market is tough. And most agents don't know how to work with this market. You know, there's multiple offer effects. You know, how do I stand down? You know, put in the cover letter, telling them how beautiful the baby room was. You know, all that. Everybody's already been there, done that. You know, just go with highest and best. Do the best you can to, to really do the best you can for that buyer but you got to build the relationship with the listing agent yeah talk to them tell them what it needs what do i need i guess i know you got multiple offers but tell me what do i need to give you more time less time financing no inspections what do i need to do to get it right. sometimes you got to be bold like that and you know chances are if you build a relationship with the other agent they like you and they'll they'll make sure that you're the one that is entertained at least you know, at least a backup, if anything at all, right, you know, right, I say right, backup right. all offers. It doesn't matter, you know? Right. So the market is hard, but what's harder is that the agents don't go out there and really put their boots on the ground and do what right. it takes for a, for a buyer or a seller. I get it. Buyers are liars. Sellers are yellers. It happens every day, but, but come that, on. That's cool. I never heard that before. That's cool. <laughs> okay, Jackie, you say some cool things over here. Yeah, I never heard that, you know? Yeah. Funny taglines, awesome. idioms and things, yeah, you know? That's awesome and me is the same. See what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and and you know and you know that my question next, what? which to me it's already so plain to see, but I'm going to oh. ask it anyway, is what do you feel sets you apart from other realtors slash brokers, realtors, brokers? Look at me. No. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a lot of confidence, yeah. but I'm not arrogant. Right. You know, and that's the biggest part. And, you know, I love, you know, I, I love people uh, that want to do something that is big. And this is big. Buying a house is the biggest thing anyone can do. And they do it with this pride because it's important to accomplish that. Right. And that to me is I got to help you get to there. I got to help you take that step. And most people get. Oh, you can't buy there. You got this. You got that. No, let's fix your credit. Let's save your money. I work with them. Even my buyers and my sellers, I try to work with them. There's programs now with no money down with good credit. There's programs now with no verification of income. Why can't people buy? Yep. I just I just don't get it. They're with the wrong team. That's what it is. Yeah, because they're not educated because somebody is not informing them. Yeah. Of the changes in the market, the laws, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And these commission yeah. incentives that the agents are taking from these companies, you know, are ridiculous. That's the, that's why there's no motivation for right. them to right. come. You know, right. I had an agent come with me. I won't tell you where she came from, but she's not new. And she was at a 50-50 split. I was blown away. I was like, what? That's insane in today's market. How could you accept that? And, and what? The, her first two customers are her family members. That's usually the case. Which is what I said. <laughs> and then they're done. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, I worked so hard for that. Right. So, okay. So what, what is a fair split? What, I mean, what do you feel, you know, you know, it's, it's just fair. Everything is with, is about experience. But I think you, I think the going rate is a 70-30. Okay. But I know that agents come you know, with a book of business that could bring them up to the, you know, the upper 80s, you know, right. at least in my branch, you can, but you've got to have 
some skin in the game. You got to have sold at least six transactions. You know, I'll right. take you from six to 12 right. because my job is to take you to the next level. And that is not only my job, but my promise to you, but your promise to me is that you're going to be my accountability partner as well. Yeah. You know, it works both ways. Yeah. So it can happen. We can take your business to the less, to the next level by me giving you this incentive to come and make more. Um, again, a lot of companies are charging astronomical fees, desk fees. Hey, nobody's using a desk anymore. Why are you charging a desk really? fee? Really? Okay. I'm virtual. And even if you come to my office, the desks are there. They're available. Take them. It's good to see you. Yeah. Why would you charge for that, huh? Yeah, but they are. But they're they, doing that. Wow. They're okay. doing that. And they're charging a processing fee to some of these agents when they close their deals. And it's unacceptable. And me, as a Google Banker brand, I get it. A lot of these fees have to happen. Right? But... You know, there's a lot of real estate companies out there that don't have those kind of fees and you should shop them. I, the brand name sells. So come to the brand, come to me if you want to live. That's what I always say. <laughs> but, but the reality is that your splits should be negotiated. Yeah. Always. So yeah, it should be case by case, just depending on the book of business that they may have, you know, use of experience, how many transactions, uh, you know. How strong a negotiator yeah. they are. Yep. Name recognition. I'm sure that, that every now and then there's agents that have pretty good name recognition, right? No, oh, most yeah. definitely. I have a, a pretty good top producer that I got from a small uh, real estate office down the street. And his name is Pete Muller, but he's Pete from down the street. Now he's <laughs> Pete from Coldwell Banker Hometown. <laughs> there you go. You see, he snatched them so, up. So the yeah, right we way. snatched them up. Oh yeah. my goodness. You don't understand what I yeah. do to get these agents. But they come. They come. Oh, you know what? After meeting you, I think, you know, <laughs> your energy, your passion. Um, overall, I think you're very pleasant. And and, and and I think, yeah, you know. Thank you. Yeah, you know, and honestly, I mean, I, like, I think that that radiates to other people. And, and I think that when you're faced with having to make a decision between one person and another, I think you're going to go with the person that has all the better seeming qualities. The That's energy. what I think. The energy, the, the passion, energy. The, you know. So... So I think that that's why you've been winning all this time. All right. And some of that winning has to do with um, agents that you have developed and things. So we're going to watch a clip of a testimonial. And what's the name of the uh, person that you developed? Uh, Kelly Wood. She's been developing with me for about six years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hear from Kelly. All right. So we're going to take a look. All right. Let's watch. My name is Kelly Wood, I'm the Coldwell Banker Hometown Real Estate in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. And I've been working with Jackie Garcia for about six years now. I started out real estate back in 06, um, all in pre-construction. So I wanted to get into general when the market kind of was slowing down a little bit with pre-construction. And um, I called Coldwell Banker and she was the one that answered basically and got me in to, you know, to meet with her. And um, so it's brand new to me, general. And she got me in, coached me. She's very motivating. You know, I can call her like at any day, any time in the morning, late at night. She always picks up. Sometimes she even calls me late at night just to talk about a deal that's going on and see if I need any help with anything. Um, yeah, she's just been so great. And I would, um, I don't know what I would do without her in real estate, really. Okay, we just heard from Kelly. And Kelly seems to be very appreciative of you, Miss Jackie Garcia. Actually, I'm appreciative of her. I'm very grateful to that little ninja. She is amazing. She's a little ninja. <laughs> I call her ninja in a suit. Because yeah. once you give her her, I gave her her wings, she just took off. And she really is doing fantastic. I'm so proud of her um, and her due diligence. Uh, it's just amazing the way the, um, the agents that really want it really become successful and learn a lot from me. Awesome. 100%. Yeah. Yes. So if they do listen and they put in the work, they will be successful. They'll become ninjas. Like Kelly. Like Kelly. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jackie, you, you're awesome energy, you know? Thank I you. mean, I mean, I can't say enough great things. Thank you, Willie. How can people find you? How can people find out more about you? How can they get you to coach them, to hire you or somebody on your team? How can people reach you? Well, um, I can be reached through many ways, right? Uh, you can uh, reach me at my office um, at Coldwell Banker Hometown in Lake Worth. Um, look them up um, and you can call me directly. I like that one, which is 786-285-9750. 
I'm all hands on. Okay, I'm on Facebook, Jackie Garcia, right? I'm on Instagram. I'm on all the social medias, LinkedIn. Um, you can read about me in LinkedIn as well. And Jackie Selling Homes for those trying to buy a home from me, right? Um, just, you know, call me. Uh, I do pick up the phone. And that's what it's all about. But continue doing what you're doing so that these fellow agents can continue doing what they're doing. Yeah. But thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And I you know? appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Friends, that is our time. Thank you for joining me on the Real Florida Real Estate Show. Real Real Estate, R-E dot com. Don't text and drive, but do join us this week, every week for more real estate stories on this series. Thank you so much. Subscribe to watch new episodes, get featured or advertised by visiting realflorida.re.com and listen via audio on all major podcast platforms.